We continue exploring the best Marriott properties inside the heart of the Big Easy. Today, we're diving into the Westin New Orleans. From its luxurious vibes to the vibrant cityscape views, get ready to uncover the perfect blend of Southern charm and modern sophistication. Stay tuned. <music> We are back in New Orleans continuing our series reviewing the best Marriott properties in the city of New Orleans. Today we're going to do the West End New Orleans right on the river. Doing a check of Uber. How much is Uber right now? So Uber, Uber is currently $34 to the French Quarter, which is not bad. Cabs in New Orleans charge a flat rate of $36 to go from the airport to the French Quarter downtown area. So sometimes that's a lot cheaper than Uber or Lyft, depending on surge pricing. Most of the time when we come in on a Saturday, Uber and Lyft are a lot more expensive. This time we got lucky. We are on our way to our room. 2822 suite. Checking guy, what was his name? Jalen. Super nice guy, likes to talk about cars. Sweet. So we are in room 2822, which is technically a Bienville suite. We use a suite nine certificate. There is a closet right when you come in with iron and iron board and a few hangers in there. Here is the suite. The living room area so you've got a work area since this hotel does cater to a lot of business professionals so you've got a nice desk with a couple plug-ins right here your fiji water that costs money and then your regular water you, just, you only get one for some reason in-room dining ac what is it at 72 let's lower that sucker and i'm assuming this is for the ac is for the living room so we have a couch in the living room and a nice chair Oh yeah, so it's just a sofa bed. So that's nice if you have some people, you can use this room as a bedroom. We've got a television over here. In here. Just a little cabinet space, a refrigerator. It's located underneath the TV, it says, it's right here. It is cold. What do you think so far? I like it. What does our view look like? It's a city view. Ooh, there's, it's very sunny, so I'm not gonna look it down there, but there's the casino, city view. In the living room, I mean the bedroom, has Chase Lounge. And another TV with more drawers over here. And this room is hot. Okay, this one has its own AC. Let's lower that sucker down. 65. When you stay at the Westin, you know what to expect with the heavenly beds. Probably one of the first hotel chains to invest a lot of money on a bed and make them very comfortable. So you always a consistent sleep experience for the most part. I do love the beds, but a lot of times I'm not a fan of the Westin pillows at the hotel. And these are like, my gosh, like I barely touched it and it just sunk all the way to the bottom. Let's do that again. Look at this. Oh, okay. So this is a firmer one. This one's like non-existent. Okay, so you got two different types of pillows. Earplugs. There's a lot of reviews that talk about how loud this hotel is. So for them to provide you earplugs, that kind of tells you something. And then you have the little lavender scent thing. Uh, I don't see a plug over oh, here. The plugs are on the side in the bed. This is a much larger nightstand that I normally see at a hotel. So that's really nice. AC is already blowing up pretty cold. I've seen some pictures where they have the TV over here, which would have made it really awkward to watch TV from here. So it's nice to see this one over here. It's still somewhat of an angle from bed, but it's much better. Bathroom, so what's over here? Oh, another closet with a robe hanger. Must be like a makeup spot. It's love the lighting. You have your coffee machine over here. One sink, white tea scented. Toiletries and lotion in the bathroom. Wow, there's a little shelf which you don't ever see. Bathroom and your typical shower. All the rooms at the Westin are much larger than most rooms in the New Orleans. This suite is really large. <laughs> I 
I find the Westin to be the one hotel brand from the original SPG family of hotels that have maintained their quality best since Marriott took them over. They are the most consistent experience across all properties. Sheridan is spending a lot of money to rebrand and refresh all their properties and the W Hotel seems to be like a crapshoot these days. And in a city like New Orleans, full of below average hotels, it's great to see this Westin continue to be a well-maintained property, especially for how long this hotel has been around. In order to get to your room and check in from the entrance, you will want to take this entrance and take the elevator to the 11th floor. You can also enter the hotel through the canal shops and take the elevator to the 11th floor from there. The lobby is the main hub for this hotel and has one of the best views of any hotel in the city. We spent several hours here waiting for our room to be ready and the lobby is loud and festive. How busy is the hotel? It's very busy. <laughs> Recently, I broke the screen of my tablet that was inside my other stuff backpack when I tried shoving it under a seat on a flight. Since then, I've been mindful of how I pack. Level 8 has several unique and practical pieces of luggage that fit my needs when I travel. On this trip, I used the Roadrunner carry-on in a beautiful blue navy color. The bag features a unique hard front storage area that easily fits my MacBook Pro. It allows for easy access when going through security also. The pouch fully opens with multiple pockets for cable and important documents like passports. The polycarbonate hard shells make the bags light as a feather and the white handle found on some bags provide great stability. My friends at Level 8 have provided a discount code for our viewers. I've posted the full details in the description below. Use the code RICK10 at checkout for a nice discount. Everywhere you go the hotel is extremely busy. It's almost impossible for me to film so we're killing time waiting for our room to be available. It's 2 o'clock and technically it's not checking until 4 p.m. So this is a nice treat to have some flavored orange water with some flowers in it. Throughout the hotel, they have these little directory boards with events, amenities, dining room options. Let's see what amenities shows up. Pretty much all business stuff, ballrooms. This pretty much caters to business travelers. Oh wow, the views right here are crazy. Look at the river from here. Gym is on the 14th floor, so you need a key, but I haven't checked in, but we were able to just walk right on in. And when you come in, there is a little open space, some TRX bands, balls, some filtered water. I love these. Oh my God. So it looks like there's plenty of cardio and there's just enough machines to get a good strength training workout. <laughs> The hotel is perfect for shopping as you have the shops at Canal Place attached to the hotel. This is where the best shopping is found if you're interested in luxury stores. If you're more of a bargain hunter, then the Riverwalk outlet stores are right around the block. There's a great sidewalk facing the river where you can get some great views of steamboats as they load with passengers and the Mississippi River and bridge nearby. The aquarium is also steps away from the hotel and the Caesars Casino is right outside the hotel when you come out of the shop's entrance. The casino is non-smoking which I really appreciate on the few times we go in there. What I like about the location best is that it is easy to avoid Canal Street especially at night since the area is a little bit sketchy and you're still just a few blocks away from Bourbon Street. I would also take note of the entrance for the hotel as if you come back to the hotel after a few too many drinks the number of elevators you need to take to get to your room might be a challenge for some. We went to dinner at nearby Fogo the Chow where we were entertained by a huge piece of meat on the floor that was there the whole night. It fell on the ground. server who paid it no regard other than a violent kick. So the eight servers since have paid it no regard. It's still there. She just walked right by it. I think that manager just walked by it. She did. <laughs> the piece of meat was still there when we left, but I was able to take a selfie for my memories. Good morning. We slept really well last night and slept in past 8 o'clock, which we normally don't get to do back home. The room is comfortable. The AC works well. The hotel is very, very loud at night. We're in bed and we keep on hearing these bangs. It's a good thing that they give you earplugs. Sounded like the elevators or AC. I couldn't really make out what the noise was, but it's pretty loud. The elite breakfast at the hotel is the full breakfast buffet, which I found it to be very good with a few items I don't normally see, including naked fruit juices. Is that broccoli or cauliflower? 
I think it's cauliflower. There's a purple, purple one too. The buffet is sold for $36. Final thoughts on this property. For the price, I really can't find too much to criticize with the hotel. The design is a little bit more corporate than many of the other hotels in the city. I do like properties like the Ritz Carlton and the W in the French Quarter that showcase a lot more of the local flair of New Orleans, but I will happily take the extra space that these rooms have compared to others in the city. The only thing that has kept us from staying here more consistently in the past is that it is one of the longer walks for games at the Superdome than some other properties that have slightly better Bonvoy benefits like the Marriott New Orleans. For the majority of the people coming to the city, the location of the hotel can be beat with a great balance of being close to the action but just outside of the crazy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, then please consider subscribing as it really helps us grow the channel and turn on notifications so you know when we drop new content. And as always, thanks for watching. Now, it's time.